Welcome to this episode of Psyx Now Learning Hub, Introduction to LCMS Series. In this episode, we will talk about important parameters in mass spectrometry. These parameters are the mass range, the mass resolution, sensitivity, mass accuracy, the scan speed, and signal to noise. Each type of mass spectrometer has a characteristic range of M over Z values that can be detected. You can compare this to the area that can be captured with wide angle or zoom lenses. In practice, you can actively determine in which part of it ions are actually allowed to enter the mass spectrometer and thus being recorded. In this example, the mass range was recorded between M over Z200 and M over Z1800 restricting the mass range only to what is needed for analysis can improve data quality. You may be familiar with the term resolution from your television or camera, where it describes the amount of detail an image can contain. In this visual example of resolution, the artist Gerhard Richter has succeeded in fitting an increasing number of colored squares into an equally large area. That is, to achieve a higher resolution, the mass resolution of a mass spectrometer determines its ability to separate and distinguish different M over Z ratios. The term sensitivity is used in many different contexts and usually refers to a range in which something can be detected, such as touch or pain. In mass spectrometry, sensitivity is a parameter that specifies the level at which the instrument can detect a compound this level depends on several factors, for example, the molecular property, the technical specification of the mass spectrometer itself, how many other molecules with similar mass are in the sample, or its mass resolution. Good sensitivity allows you to analyze lower concentrations of analytes. Accuracy is a measure of how well an instrument can determine a value. For example, these scales can measure different weights with varying degrees of accuracy. In other words, how well they can correctly determine the weight of an object. You can also think of it like this. How close can you get with a dart to the bull's eye? That is the accurate target on a dartboard. In mass spectrometry, mass accuracy is a parameter of how well your instrument is able to measure the M over Z value of a molecule against the expected value. The better these values match, the more reliable is the result of your analysis. The value is usually calculated and reported in PPM. Performing an accurate mass calibration of the mass spectrometer ensures that you make accurate M over Z ratio measurements. The detector does not record the incoming ions continuously. Rather, it makes successive recordings called a scan. You can compare this to captured images, like in a movie. The scan speed determines how many scans are recorded in a given time span. The faster the scan speed of a mass spectrometer, the less likely you are to miss ions that entered the mass spectrometer but were not recorded. Did you notice that in this example you would be missing the cheetah if you were photographing at a slower speed? Another important factor is the signal to noise ratio. It determines whether you can detect an important signal despite the surrounding noise. To determine the signal-to-noise ratio, you need to read the intensity of the signal and that of the noise level, and then calculate the ratio of the two values. The signal is generally considered detectable when the signal-to-noise ratio exceeds the value three. Thank you for watching this episode. To view the full training course, including progress checks and a final quiz to earn a certificate, go to Syx.com. Log in today to take advantage of the highly rated training material offered in the Syx Now Learning Hub. You can use the links below.